Hey everybody, Brian Davis Races, and you can too. Lately I've been reading about potatoes being just as effective as energy gels. Today we're gonna make up a batch and we're gonna try a few unique things to make this work for us. Here's the plan today. We're gonna take two pounds of these potatoes. I'm gonna make them into mashed potatoes after I peel and cut these up and put them in boiling water, let that boil for 20 minutes or so. And what I'm looking for here is really the consistency to be thicker than most mashed potatoes. And then what I'm going to do is dilute that thickness a little bit with some of the sh um, honey that I have on hand. And then in order to give it unique flavors, just like the energy gels, what I have are these flavor vials or flavor oils. And what we're going to do is drop one or two drops of oil into each little mini batch that we're making. We're gonna put each mini batch into a baggie and freeze them. And then when we're ready to use that flavor, we'll cut the end and then we'll be able to squeeze it, just like a cake decorating thing, into these on the bike flasks that I found which are typically used for lotions and shampoos and things like that. Anyway, all the links for the stuff are down below. All right, race fan, like I said, grab two pounds of potatoes, peel those suckers, chop them up into big chunks, throw them in boiling water 20 minutes and you're gonna have your mashed potatoes. Now the trick is, how do you get the consistency right? And that is really a function of probably more trial and error than anything because your tastes vary. But what I did is I threw a little soy milk in there to loosen it up, um, not necessary, and then some salt. Uh, and then the honey is really what I was using to try to get the consistency down right. So the honey is going to give you tons of sugar in this mix, but you're also going to get tons of uh, more complex, slow-burning carbs with the potatoes. So it's a nice mix of quick hit and longer range fuel uh, in theory. Now I am going to try this just today so we'll see how it goes and um, I'll report back over time in these videos. I tried strawberry and cherry but in the end peanut butter and root beer ended up being much better so more of a savory flavor to go with the mashed potatoes. It doesn't actually taste like mashed potatoes at all but somewhere in your brain you know they're mashed potatoes and you know it should taste more savory. So it's about one milliliter of those flavor vials. Again it's not necessary if you just want to go with honey and mashed potatoes that's perfectly fine. By the time all this is said and done, it's a cheap, uh, healthy, homemade way to arrive at energy gels, and you know exactly what's in there. So it's not necessarily just about saving money, but it's also knowing everything that is in there and absolutely coming from your kitchen with your control. I would also cut the ends of these bags very, very, very small because <laughs> it gets pretty messy pretty quick. Hey, Ray Sam. That is how you make your own gel. Now, uh, I know that seemed putsy, but if you're gonna do a bunch of these, you're gonna have a whole slew of gels made up in really this whole process. By the time you get it down, should take no more than 35, 45 minutes to end up with a ton of these little packets. Now, you can buy a bunch of these and just freeze these or put them in the, uh, I would freeze them, uh, but these get expensive after a while. So the bags, clipping the ends and then squeezing it in there, might work better, uh, funnel might work better. So like I said, this was an experiment. This is the first time I did that, but. I would add a little bit more than one, oh, there it is. I might add a little bit more than one mil, uh, I might add a little bit more flavoring, but overall the consistency is just right. So to review, what I did is I just took two pounds of Normal potatoes, boiled those up after cutting up, peeling and cutting them up. Boiled those for about 20 minutes and that almost gets it to a mashed consistency anyway. I put just a little bit of soy milk in, the, in there, some honey, and then I added the flavor that I so choose. Expecting it to. All right, while I got your attention, I would like to direct you to our website for our sock brand. And by our, I mean me. Go to followhollow.com, buy some socks. It would really help support the channel and keep my ability to make videos open. I just made another batch, but this time with peanut butter. And uh, that was really good. And then I got a real plastic bag instead of those biodegradable ones. I feel like that's gonna work out better for refilling. I still cut this hole way too big. That's frustrating. Okay. A very small hole. Let's try that. Yes. That's the answer. A very, very small hole. Now again, the goal is you're not going to do one of these for one ride. You're going to make a bunch of these at once. And then you're all set for a long time. Like the whole summer. If you made a big batch of, you know, four pounds of mashed potatoes and you did a bunch of these little things. 
I mean, like I said, these add up, they get a little expensive, but I think we're in good shape there. So that's it. This one's peanut butter. Uh, I lost my, my topper. Let me go get that. I'm going to try it. Okay. That totally works. That totally works. So nutrition wise with the sugar in there, the flavor's fine and the carbs from the potatoes, I really do think there's no reason that this wouldn't be just as effective as a gel. Uh, it's certainly cheaper and more importantly, you know what's in it every single time and you can make it to whatever flavors you want. You just buy a bunch of those uh, flavor oils and you're all set. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. The goal on this channel is to grow our sport, grow our knowledge and grow our fitness. Hopefully I delivered that to you today. I know I learned something today. So if you did enjoy what we had to say today, please do subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.